Starting in the 1980s, the RHC is one of the only two fitness facilities on Ryerson University. On the south end, the RHC is threshold by a historical facade built two centuries prior. A splendid as the gateway is, it is completely inaccessible due to the lack of ramp and automated doors. Which means the entrance of the gym's northwest corner, located at RAC 118 and through RAC 123 from the inside of Kerr Hall, is the only handicap accessible choice. Although one can enter Kerr Hall from many places, but to get to the entrance that is located at RAC 123 adjacent to the old man room is a relatively long and confusing journey, even when entering Kerr Hall from the nearest entrance. To make matters worse, one must get through three different doors in between REC 123 and REC 118 to get into REC, with the second door requiring a special activation of the one card to be granted access, and this can be only done in the REC front desk, which is an impossibility to a person on wheelchair if without the help of others. Even when one managed to get into RAC, the lack and misplacement of ramps in RAC renders it inaccessible, since there are a few ramps going from elevation to elevation. For example, this short ramp just outside the women's change room that leads to a major circulation with no other ramps leading to a different program. To most people, getting from floor to floor is perhaps the most agonizing part of traveling in the RAC, since there is only one lifter located at the south end of the gym opposite to both the men's and women's change room as well as the only water fountain that is near the north entrance. Not to mention that the lifter is much slower than regular elevator. Most notably, not a single room of any program is installed with an automated door, including all the change rooms and the wheelchair accommodated washrooms. With everything being said, additional internal access on each floor can be improved upon by replacing parts of the stairs with ramps that are open to regular people and handicaps alike, especially when the difference in most elevation are less than 2 feet, a standard ramp will not dominate much space. Every door leading to a program room should be automated for wheelchair convenience, and one more elevator should be placed on the north end of the gym as well as having the old lifter replaced. As for now, the level of accessibility in REC is no way excellent. Perhaps this is the reason why South Only Handicaps training facility. However, full access for handicaps will be possible in the near future if the university is willing to plan and act.